The Human Rights Clinic of the University of Essex has two components. The first component is a module where students will learn transferable skills. So they will build on the research skills that they acquire in all the other modules and they will learn things that are going to be very helpful for them throughout their careers. Issues such as strategic litigation, impact assessment, interviewing skills, uh, framing and communications, how to, how to tailor and adapt your messages in a way that makes sense on people's, on people's minds. And the second component are the research projects. So students uh, work on a series of projects that we develop throughout the year with international organisations like the United Nations, the World Health Organisation or the International Criminal Court, or also with organisations in the human rights field like uh, Amnesty International, for example. And the students work on these projects uh, throughout the year, providing answers to uh, burning questions that these organisations have and that they uh, will later on apply in their advocacy campaigning and research. The Human Rights Clinic is such a unique opportunity that's provided by University of Essex and it was something that attracted me so largely to University of Essex to come here and do my course. The Human Rights Clinic is different because it's practical and it's I'm learning about the advocacy and I'm learning about the real world so uh, it's, it's amazing because I'm actually like working on a project that will that will make a difference. Well, when I started applying to Essex, I, it was the first time I read about the clinic, and I decided to apply because it is like a different and innovative way of learning human rights law. We look for projects that meet uh, four criteria. Firstly, we look for projects that are impactful. Secondly, we look for diverse projects in terms of human rights topics and also geographically diverse. We want to ensure that there is always a project on women's rights, always a project on economic, social and cultural rights, also international humanitarian law, international criminal law, refugee law, and also diverse in the sense that uh, we always look for projects that look at the Global South, uh, projects about the UK as well, and also projects that are comparative in nature. In the beginning it is a little challenging, everyone has their own roles and so assigning those roles, working to everyone's advantages and disadvantages is a little challenging but I think um, within a few weeks we're like a well-oiled machine, we work really well together now. Um, we also have supervision and we make sure to have multiple meetings within ourselves as well as with our professor. Partners are very much involved uh, throughout this process, uh, giving feedback on drafts, uh, giving feedback on, on outlines, uh, also providing contacts for interviews. And at the end of the journey, they will use that research for their advocacy campaigns and, and research, and they will acknowledge uh, the authorship of the, of the project itself. Our experience of working with the Essex Human Rights Clinic was, um, was, was excellent, really positive. Um, it, was a, it was great from the beginning, from the outset. We had discussions about our proposal. We made sure that there was clarity in what we were going to, what we needed to deliver and what they needed to deliver and the support that they need from us. It was an excellent opportunity for us at Amnesty International UK to really develop our thinking in some areas that we'd sort of been wanting to do for some time but actually our resources just meant that we, we had to sort of work with others and Essex were the ideal place to work with. They didn't demand a lot of our resources, we had a very good working relationship, the quality of the research students, they were, they were excellent and the, the work that they delivered for us um, was practical, useful and informative. It, it was a good experience and would certainly do more work with them.